All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to look at angles formed by a transversal. Angles formed by a transversal. So if we kind of look at what the main goal of this whole section is, is to see what angle relationships are formed by specific ways that lines are cut in certain directions, certain ways, and, and so on and so forth. And so for this video specifically, the real focus that we're going to have is down here at sex criteria number four, and we're just going to identify corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, and consecutive interior angles in a diagram. So let's take a look first and foremost about what these four angle relationships are. Now, let's first kind of recap what a transversal is. Now remember, a transversal is just simply a line that intersects two or more coplanar lies in the same plane lines at different points. So basically, it's a line that cuts two other lines, right? Two or more other lines. And we are going to spend a lot of our time in this course talking about what happens specifically when the two lines are parallel. But let's just say, for instance, for right now, that these two lines are not parallel. That's going to kind of open up our discussion. If you have two angles like we do right here, if you kind of see what happens, when you have a transversal or transversal T, it kind of cuts each line into what I call four quadrants. One, two, three, four quadrants. One, two, three, and four quadrants. So when you find an angle that is in the same quadrant, all right, they're considered corresponding. They're in the same position, top right corner, top right corner. And there would be one here as well too. This angle that I'm kind of highlighting, you can call whatever number angle you want, but this angle here and this angle here in the top left corner, so they would be corresponding. Bottom left, bottom left, bottom right, bottom right. Corresponding, same position. So let's take a look here at an example of where can we locate some corresponding angles. We'll go back to the other ones. We want to identify all of the pairs of corresponding angles here. So I know that this diagram is completely turned over than what I just showed you on the other screen, but if you kind of think about it in terms of the same uh, way that it was, really it's all the same concept. It doesn't matter how the diagram is formed. If you kind of turn your paper or turn your head, it ends up still being same position that we're looking for. So for this very first one, our corresponding angles. So for corresponding, we'll say part A down here. So for part A, the corresponding angles, I could say that angle one and angle five are one pair. I'm going to put a, uh, a, a dash or a, 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 a slant um, to um, show what uh, the difference is between these. So we've got one and five being corresponding. Well, same position here. Two and six are also corresponding. We've got three and seven corresponding in the same positions. And then, of course, finally four and eight are also corresponding. So let's take a look, go back to our definitions page and about alternate interior angles is the next we're gonna look at. So let's dive into the word alternate. Alternate is gonna represent on opposite sides of the transversal. So alternate, opposite sides, alternate is gonna equal opposite sides of the transversal, opposite sides. Interior is going to equal in between the two lines that are getting cut by the transversal. So you're gonna hear a lot of teachers, and if you go to any more YouTube videos, a lot of them call the lines or the buns, all right? So you've got the two lines, those are your hamburger buns, and then anything interior is in between the buns of the sandwich or the hamburger or whatever you're talking about there. So alternate interior angles, opposite sides, but in between the two lines that are getting cut. So let's go find some alternate interior angles. So here we have our transversal. Here's our transversal. And then on opposite sides, but has to be in between these two lines. So opposite sides and in between would be angle two and angle seven. 
and then angle four and angle five. These are pairs of alternate interior and these are pairs of alternate interior. What about our next one, alternate exterior angles, alternate exterior? Well, alternate still meaning opposite sides of the transversal, but exterior meaning on outside of the two lines that are getting cut, all right? Or if you still think of these as hamburger buns or sandwich bread, then it's outside of the sandwich or outside of the hamburger. So you've got alternate out here for one and eight for exterior. So alternate exterior, alternate exterior, opposite sides of the transversal outside of the two lines that are getting cut. So in this case, you would have here angle one and angle eight as being a pair of alternate interior angles, or excuse me, alternate exterior angles. And then you would have a pair here angle three and angle six, another pair of alternate exterior angles. So let's take a look at our last one, which I always call the forgotten soul. For some reason, people forget this more than any other ones. And that is our consecutive interior angles. Consecutive meaning same side of the transversal, same side. So consecutive, same side of the transversal, interior still meaning in between the two lines that are getting cut. So three and five in this case, different angles, same side of the transversal T and both inside of, inside of those lines that are being cut. So in this example, same side would be two and five. And then we have four and seven. So you may be wondering, well, what about the other pair that I'm thinking about? I'm, I'm seeing there should be another pair of angle relationships. And in most textbooks, they don't discuss it, but that would be consecutive exterior. So like one and six are considered consecutive exterior angles. A lot of them just kind of don't utilize them um, for whatever reason or another. Technically, they are an angle pair relationship. Um, and we will learn once we get the parallel lines that they are also going to be supplementary. Um, but just for some reason, a lot of textbooks just decide not to really um, discuss it too much. But they are considered technically consecutive exterior angles or same side exterior angles.